Welcome to the deep dive tutorial video on version 2 of the Roll Appraiser tool, one of the big new features of Light.gg patch 2.1. I'm Afpak, creator of Light.gg, here to walk you through some of the finer points of how this feature works, what the intention is, and hopefully answer some of your questions. If you don't have time for a deep dive, check out the patch 2.1 rundown, which sums up everything that's changed in about six minutes. What is the Roll Appraiser? If you've never used the Roll Appraiser before, there's never been a better time to give it a shot. However, if you've been appraising every drop you get for the past year and just want to see what's new, I've got you covered. There are chapters and timestamps on the video, so feel free to jump ahead to the next chapter while I get everyone caught up. So, the basic idea of the Roll Appraiser is to be the most customizable, powerful weapon management tool for the Destiny 2 community. It accomplishes that by allowing you to see all of your roles with all of their perks all on one screen. From there, we rank each role's popularity based on statistics from the global Destiny community. At the same time, we provide a curated list of recommendations from trusted community theory crafters as to which perks they prefer on each individual weapon. There are a ton of filtering options to drill down to just the weapons you're interested in, and you can play around with your perks to see how your role stats change right from within the app as well. That more or less catches you up on everything that isn't new, so let's bring the rest of the gang back in and get started. All right, so now that everyone's on the same page, let's get into what all has changed with version 2.0 of the Roll Appraiser. In version one, one of the most commonly asked questions I received on the Roll Appraiser was, how are these things sorted? Or is there any way to just sort them alphabetically? While there was a method to my madness at the time, I, I definitely agree that it wasn't super obvious exactly how your roles were sorted. But instead of just making it so the default sort was alphabetical by name, I wanted to take it a step further and allow you to pick from multiple different sort options. Beyond that, what if you want to sort by multiple things at once? Taking it even further, what if you want to be able to collapse different chunks of your roles based on their attributes and see quickly at a glance how many roles you have under each different category? That's where version 2.0 of the Roll Appraiser gets started. Using the new Groups and Sorts panel on the left, you can now fully control how your roles are organized giving you the ability to quickly drill directly to the set of roles you want to work with. As you add groups, new subheadings will nest into your role list, allowing you to collapse down different chunks of your inventory and see just what you want at any given time. You can change the direction both groups and sorts are ordered, and you can even rearrange the groups and sorts themselves by dragging and dropping. Once you're happy with how your groups are structured, the lock or unlock all button in the upper right gives you the option to lock or unlock all of the roles that fall under that group in mass, with some safety nets to keep you from unlocking your entire inventory. Once you have a lot of groups, the page can get pretty tall, and that's where the new navigator panel comes in. Bringing up the navigator and clicking on any subheading will instantly scroll that group into view, so no role is ever going to take 50 swipes to get to. New group types are also very easy to add. So as Bungie adds more to the API, or as you guys come up with new ideas of things you'd like to see, the framework definitely allows for expanding the tool over time. The level of customization available here takes the, everything is grouped by weapon type using a sort that's kind of counterintuitive problem from 1.0, and completely flips it on its head, giving you the ability to quickly and easily dice through your roles and get to just the ones you want with a couple of clicks. Back in the main role list, let's take a look at another exciting new component, the weapon preview. In version two, instead of summoning the full screen inspector, clicking a role now brings up a floating weapon preview. This panel gives you a lot of the same information as the old role inspector, but in a more compact format that doesn't completely hide the rest of your inventory while it's at it. The perk popularity section here is also new, giving you a more detailed explanation of how the popularity rank for your weapon was arrived at. 
The stat list at the bottom includes a ton of new stuff too, including community research stats and, and more. Even the database link is upgraded. The item detail page it opens will automatically populate the new perk playground with the perks from your role. The sidebar of the weapon preview is home to several other new chunks of functionality, including the ability to equip, transfer, and pull roles from the postmaster. Up until now, the role appraiser really only allowed you to lock or unlock roles, so being able to actually move them around in-game, all within the same app, is a huge step forward. When you're previewing a weapon that has duplicates, the weapon preview is even more powerful. With a press of the Q hotkey, another weapon preview is summoned right next to the one you had, allowing you to do a side-by-side -side comparison between the role you started with and each of the other copies of that weapon that match your filters. If there's more than one dupe, pressing tab will cycle through them, allowing you to quickly decide which ones to keep and which to shard. Another awesome new tool in version 2 is the activity stream. The idea with this feature is to have a feed of important things that happen during your session so that while you're in between strikes or cru crucible matches or trips to the postmaster, even without changing your main filters, you can see things like which roles you found recently, or if a vendor started selling something you might be interested in, or a bunch of other things. By default, the role appraiser will play a small ding when something interesting happens, but if that's not for you, silencing it is just one click away. When the activity stream has something for you to look at, an orange dot will show over the hamburger menu icon in the top left. Beyond just a different way to stay on top of what's happening with your inventory while you play, the activity stream allows you to automate certain actions in response to things that are happening in game. For example, the first time you switch characters after opening your session, the role appraiser will present you with the option to automatically switch your filters to only show roles for that character. If you say yes, it will make the swap that one time, but if you say always, it will automatically do that every time you switch characters moving forward. If you ever change your mind, a quick swap of an option in the settings panel will stop the automation. But this is the only one of these things built at launch and the potential is, is awesome. Expect a lot more automation options in the future. On the topic of the settings panel, there's a ton of small options in there to allow you to fine tune how the role appraiser behaves. If you want the app to remember your settings between visits, you can do that. If you'd rather see items in a language other than English, there's a setting for that. If you want to be notified when you find a role with a popularity rank of S or higher, there's a setting for that too. There's a lot of stuff in there already, with more coming as the tool continues to evolve. Be sure to check out the full patch notes in the description below for details on what all the launch settings do and how to configure them. Without spending too much time going too technical, I wanted to make a quick pit stop to mention that the new version of the role appraiser includes significant rewrites to the way large data files from Bungie and our custom tools are stored. It is now much, much faster and uses much, much less memory. If you tried to use the role appraiser before, especially on Android devices and ran into issues, version two should be a massive improvement. So now let's talk about what's not exactly new, but what's kind of changed from version one. The filtering functionality of the tool at a high level still works more or less the same as it did in 1.0, though it does perform much faster in version 2. Most check boxes support three states, solid check, hollow check, and empty box. Solid checks mean only show a role if this is true. Hollow checks mean this can be true, but doesn't have to be. And empty boxes mean only show if this is false. The filters panel is also a good key for what a lot of the icons in the main role list mean. Whenever possible, the icon will show in the roles tags and next to the filter that allows you to restrict your list to those roles that have it. Seven new filters have been added with this update, including location, duplicate, mod equipped, locked, equipped, at postmaster, and weapon types. Several other filters have been updated. The search bar at the top now searches not just for weapon names, but also perk names, allowing you to quickly pull up all of your roles with Rampage. The popularity rank filters have a new selector that's hopefully less frustrating than the previous. As usual, I'm all ears when it comes to adding more filters over time, so let me hear it. Though the weapon preview panel takes center stage in this update, the role inspector is still around and received one of the most important upgrades of this patch. 
it can now actually change your perks in game. The inspector is now summoned by either double clicking on a roll or clicking the inspect option in the weapon preview sidebar. From there, you can select any of the perks available on your roll and see how your selection affects its stats, popularity, and so on. Once you're ready, you can click apply perks in game to have the tool swap the perks on your actual weapon, assuming you're in orbit or a social space. It's a whole new world. That's more or less it. I'm sure I've missed some of the smaller details, but hopefully this leads you enough in the right direction that you can start to dig into the new version of the Roll Appraiser and put the power it gives you to use. Full patch notes are included in the description below if you want to learn even more. If you have any questions, feel free to send them to us on Discord, Twitter, or leave them in the comments below. Thanks as always for supporting the site, and be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of the newest Light.gg features. See you next time.